Okay, so I'm going to start this as, with the little swirl that's in the center of it. I'm going to grab my round nose pliers. Oops, wait a second. Oh, sorry, excuse me. I can't see that well up close. <laughs> <laughs> tools of the trade. I know we need to it's see it. Necessary tools. Yes. That's okay. That's okay. So, all right. So I'm going to grab right at the end of the the pliers as well as the end of the cord, and I'm rolling towards me. And then I'm going to move back, and I'm going to start the roll around so that you can see the swirl beginning. And then I'm grabbing it from the face of it and just wrapping That's around cool. a couple of times. Now, there are people out there that don't like wire marks on their work. I like wire marks. I like that hand evident in what I'm doing. Right. If I don't want it, then I can make a jig. And then I can just wrap it around the jig, and right. then it doesn't look like it was necessarily handmade. So, okay, so now I'm ready for these guys. Love these guys. Uh, and, you know, we can look at the, the loops here. We go mm -hmm. around, so grab it, and it's so easy. I love this. Boom. Oh. You know, and your, your hands are tools, so use them. You know, your fingers move things around, they adjust things. So then I'll, I'm going back to my round nose so that I can go back up, grip it, and again, and pinch in a little, you know, it's like, this is where, believe it or not, you get a little creativity, because it's, it's the little accents and the little mm -hmm. movements in and out that help make this um, more your flower, or squiggle, or whatever technical thing. <laughs> squiggle is definitely a technical it, term it here. Is a, it's a <laughs> okay, so then we're going to the next one. So now also, you know, keep in mind, these are, these are pliers that have two different sizes here, as well as these guys. So if you're using a smaller gauge, you will want to use the smaller one. And you almost I, have a little heart there, too. I know. It's, That's I mean, really it's, cute. It's, it's amazing. I'll say one thing. If you are doing something and you are inspired at that moment and you go, wow, that's a heart, and you weren't thinking about it, no. go for it. Finish it, make it a heart, cut out some more wire, because you'll go back to your intention. You intended to make the flower, but this, like, this yeah. inspiration came, because after a while, those inspirations, they don't linger very long, and <laughs> you may not get it back. So, okay. That's a good tip. Yeah, I, you know, that is, I think, one of the, um, that and being not afraid of failure. Um, are two of the best bits of advice I can give. I know we can squeeze that together a little bit. So I went past it, but I'm going to bring it back out. That's also um, hardening the wire. Do you know about work hardening? Yeah. Yeah, which can be very frustrating. Yes. Because <laughs> if it gets too hot, hard, it will break. So we don't want that. Okay, no. So we want that there. And now the flower is starting to really take shape. And I don't want to bend it a little bit because I don't want it all on one side. I'm looking for five petals. So, okay, here we go. Another one, and just bringing it back, and then opening it back up, and it gives that, it remembers all that. We're getting really close. Oh, this is one of the better ones, actually. There you go. <laughs> okay. And we're getting ready for the last one. Okay. Okay, so now this is where this guy's going to connect. So I want to trim it just right over this first... Uh, piece of wire there that where I'm, we started. Oh yeah, so right. I'm gonna trim there that, you go. That aside, and then what I find is rather than trying to wrap that around the wire, because I've done that, <laughs> it's, it's not that pretty you know, hard, right? Yeah, it's not that great. So then I make the loop, open it up just a little bit, slide that in, and then I like chain nose for closing better, and then close that up. That is so it, fun. And boom. We've got a flower. Now it looks like you did that on purpose. You know, it's like part of the style. Yeah. That's so cool. I did. It is part of the style. Yes. <laughs>
So now I'm going to hammer it, and I like to whack the the mm, out of it, um, and that uh -oh. ends up. <laughs> Watch out, guys! Uh, that ends up flattening even this little loop, and I use that as part of the aesthetic of it. You don't have to do that. That's this is where you know your own style mm. comes in. I just I really like the way that this all looks when it's been just completely whacked. So I've got my hammer, I've got my bench block. And I'm just gonna whack it and see how that flattened out. Yeah. I really like that. It didn't take it didn't take very many whackings either. No, no, it doesn't. It's a good hammer. And you wanna be nice to your hammer, you know. I've got hammers at home that are useless now because I use them for nails and don't do that. <laughs> and so, and then on the other side, it looks nice too. That's so cool. Now, you know, little, just a little tip. If you wanted some kind of extra texture, you could take maybe a piece of screen or something like that and put it underneath. And when you whack it, you'll have uh, a texture on in one print. side. That is so cool. So now from here, you know, this, the, if you do a bunch of them, yeah, you've got a whole bunch. You can have three in a necklace. You can have a long necklace with a mm -hmm. bunch of them with chain and beads in between. Or, like, with this one, we can just attach a couple beads and some chain and, and call it a necklace. Yeah. Same thing with the with these guys. Are, this one needs to be whacked a little bit. But for earrings, you could go directly onto the ear wire. And I'll have to show you the ear wire, making the ear wires, because those are awesome. Uh, just, boom. What? I know. It, but, see, it's naked. So easy. It's naked. It needs a bead. So it does. I do have some beads here. And you made these beads, right? Yes, I did make those beads. Full service crafter here. <laughs> I can't help myself. I, I love can't it. Help myself. So um, let me whack this one, and then we can make a pair of earrings, and then we can make a necklace. Now, are you going to try this? Yes, I want to. Okay. Do you want to whack it? I want to give it a good whack. <laughs> here we go. Watch your, watch your nails. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> How's that? Not bad, not bad. Have a nice, you know. I feel like I'm, I'm being too gentle. Yeah. Think about that person in traffic today. <laughs> you now know? you're getting me inspired. Exactly. You know, I, I, I have students that once they get into, once they get into the whacking part of it, <laughs> they're like, oh, this is awesome. Yes. Yeah. See. There you go. Now, also, you may notice that this hammer has two sides to it. So, you know, with the little ball side, you can get in and, and really get into some oh. other types of texture. These, you know, hammers are great. I never even thought to, to use that side. That's so cool. So, you know, and it comes in handy for sheet metal, too, if you want to do some, you know, um, texturizing yeah. of, of things. So, okay. So, all right. We we're gonna do a pair of ear wires really quick. This is 20 gauge. When I make ear wires, I like to make them at the same time so that that way they match. Right. They're, you know. That I, totally makes sense. Yeah, I've you know tried to do one and then the other one, and they just don't look right. So I will cut the wires to match. Just doubling them up right there. That's so yep. cool. So they're completely even. So then I'm gonna do the loop at the same time. I'm grab them with pliers, get them all even, and just a quick roll. Yes, that's good. So then I take these lovely pliers here, and if you don't have pliers on hand like these, you don't want to run out and get them, you can always use a dowel or anything that's round. And that's because we're working with what gauge wire again? 20 gauge. 20 gauge. So really easy to move and bend. So here we go. We've got matching. Awesome. And then we're going to come in and put one last little bend into the back of them. Just a slight bend, huh? Yeah. OK. It's an aesthetic thing. And then if you need to, trim the ends. And they match perfectly. If you're in a room full of people and you nip, do it so that they don't fly. <laughs> Nothing worse than that's a very your, good tip. Yes. your neighbor. <laughs> nope. Don't want that. I have a very scientific method ah. for measuring. I wrap it around my neck and I go, okay, that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now, you know, you can be more precise, of course, you know, and, and there are plenty of people that will be. 